This is my 20 ton um, shop press that I purchased from uh, the Kingston uh, Princess Auto store. I do have to say though that um, their customer service is excellent. I did have a problem. I emailed, I guess, their head office through their website and included a couple pictures. They reached out by phone, uh, Daryl Scott at the Kingston office, called me, and we uh, worked it out real, real good. Excellent customer service. Please keep it up. I've met uh, approximately 20 modifications to this uh, machine. Um, and I'll start off at the base. I put on retractable um, wheels with a connecting rod that push down, hoist up. Um, I have a couple pieces of board under it. I just don't want to damage the uh, vinyl flooring. And I made up a quick and simple release because this thing weighs about now about 200 pounds so it will come down with a major clump and trying to lift it is difficult. The lever does it. I would advise anybody put retractable wheels on, put a connecting rod because if you just release one it will tilt and where it is fairly high, it, you take a chance of toppling it. Um, I did replace the cross braces and this is the um, L bracket that I put on versus the original. The originals I did use after for another purpose that I'll explain. So, we put them on, I extended the braces out by an extra two inches, one inch on each side. Uh, <coughs> the, uh, and braced it up with uh, further bracing here to make sure that I didn't get any twisting moments. And the original um, plans they call for the brace to go on the bottom here and connect to the other side. What I did, I moved them up, moved that brace up, turned it over, and bolted it to the existing location there. And then I met a basket that is removable. It's a good little storage area for your plates. And Next thing, uh, moving up, I uh, made a uh, catch storage um, bag out of 20 ounce uh, canvas. I then did 3D printed uh, brackets for here, four on the front, four on the back, and then we get to the pins. Originally, they had these pins here that fitted into a shaft, which gives you good indication that your pin is moving out. The dreaded pin creep. I developed a quick release bracket, retaining bracket. You undo the bolt, drops down. You can slide your pin in or out. Slide it back in, put it up, tighten your knob. Now you get no creep. The pin will not move. Right here is I put on lifting brackets. All my brackets are bolt on, no welding involved. They, uh, there's a pinch bolt underneath. And then we put on uh, adjustable brackets, which it will be used for tightening or slackening a lift strap. These can be removed, or you can hoist the by hand. Um, 
this is a very simple fence type thing. These are both and you just have to tighten them. This lifts out of the way, but it prevents anything from falling down because without the fence, this could tip and that will fit right down nice and neat, possibly hit your feet and they are heavy. Um, so moving right along, I'm at a half inch uh, presser plate that bolts on, it's clamps, I weld it, and to make this plate I welded two quarter inch plates together. Removing it is with an allen key here, and I unscrew both of these, it just falls off, put it up, tighten it up, and that's a six inch by six inch plate. Then moving up again, these I made or fabricated them out of the two cross braces, one for each side. I did weld to the existing brace here, this V, and this bolts on. And you can adjust so you stop this major creep. I have about one to three millimeter front to back creep now on this, and I have four on each side. Um, then we have, we need a light, and this I fashioned to this brace, 3D printed two connectors uh, to allow movement as the, as the top jack moves up and down. The bottle jack, I put a release lever on rather than using the um, handle. This is much more convenient, provides much finer detail for releasing or increasing uh, the shutoff. Um, the jack handle for this, I put up, I put a couple rear earth magnets, holds it real nice and tight, a couple extra magnets for the pin, stack, uh, pin clips, and other little odds and ends that are related to the uh, winch. The winch I made a top bracket, put a winch on, the cable runs down over the sides, you can turn it either with this or with a drill. Fits a drill. And basically, thank you very much for taking the time to look at what I consider necessary upgrades. This unit is not going to be just for pressing bearings or that type of thing. The next video, hopefully, will show it turned into what is called a clicker press for doing leather work. Thank you very much.